Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And folks, today you're in for a real treat. We're going to be going to Cracker Barrel here in Bradenton, Florida. Now, if you've never been to a Cracker Barrel, that's not really too surprising because me coming from Brooklyn, the nearest one to me in Brooklyn from Park Slope is actually in, uh, it's actually in Exit 3 on the New Jersey Turnpike, which is Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So there's a really amazing reason why Cracker Barrel isn't around in New York City boroughs or even in Long Island. So stay tuned for a cool video. I'll take you on a tour and I'll tell you the really amazing reason why you never see a Cracker Barrel in our local area. Stay tuned. So this is, right off the bat, it's an amazing place to come because they have the rocking chairs here on the porch and you can actually buy these rocking chairs and they have a country store here, which is amazing with old products. And I'm gonna show this all too. For those of you out, guys out there who watch my channel, this is a Coca-Cola place. So you know, I'm a big Coca-Cola fan. So. That's always a prerequisite, but you're gonna love this place. I know you are, so stay tuned again. It's amazing, first you walk into the country store, which I'll show you later on, and then you go into the restaurant. First we're gonna eat, I'll show you a little bit about that too. So, um, it's a really down-home place with like really cool comfort foods. I'm gonna show you the menu too, but this is really, we've got a lot of nice decorations here. You're gonna really like it, I know you will. So as you can see, they've got a really big menu here. Usually I get the meatloaf, and they've got tater tots, but you can get um, chicken tenders, chicken and dumplings, pot roast. You know, you're in the South, so chicken is always very good here. They got stuff for vegetarians. Really amazing pl a place, known for their biscuits. You get the biscuits with the meal, and I'll show you that. Cracker Barrels, if you look at why um, these places aren't around the New York City area, you're gonna say, well, hey, maybe um, you look at their business model. It's a really interesting business model. You'll always see a Cracker Barrel right near a highway. So it's kind of like, as soon as you turn off the highway or, or, or an inter interstate, you're gonna find the Cracker Barrel. So therein lies one of the things why Cracker Barrels aren't around the New York City area because the rents are very high, especially off of a highway like that. But what's really amazing too is that Cracker Barrel, um, so that's their business model. Also another fascinating thing which I'm gonna show you right here is that one fifth of the money that Cracker Barrel makes is from their gift shop. And of course, with the rents around Brooklyn and all that, the uh, rents are so high that it's hard to find a really big place or a big lot where they can open. And let me put this up over here. I'll show you that little formula thing that they have where it shows like, how much money that they're making with that. Beyond all that, I actually called up Cracker Barrel today. In fact, like I told you, there's none around the Brooklyn area, none around the New York City area. And I, what I did is I decided to call them up and find out if there's any plans to opening around there. They said that there wasn't. A uh, person really didn't want to be identified, but they were talking to me about, you know, about their business model, and they were saying that even though that's our business model, we really don't have a desire to come in that area because, in the Brooklyn area, because first off, they really, not that it's a prideful statement, but, you know, who needs more franchises around Brooklyn, right? Um, we're all about the mom and pop stores, and Cracker Barrel does not want to come into the area and put people out of business. So, it's kind of like, not only doesn't it appeal to their business model, but it doesn't appeal to their moral sense. And Cracker Barrel has gotten much better with that. You know, going way, way back, uh, Cracker Barrel was not the most um, understanding place when it came to people of different ethnic groups and diversities and religious backgrounds and um, uh, genders. So over the last 15 or 20 years, they've really done a much better job with that. And along with that is their philosophy that they're not looking to put anybody out of business. So. It's an amazing place, so let me order my food, I'll show you what I get, and I'll take you around the gift shop and we'll continue to talk. I hope you're enjoying this video because I love Cracker Barrel, especially at the holidays because it's, uh, it's actually November 15th, so we're right in the midst of Christmas and Thanksgiving. So I hope you enjoy your look a little around and I'll show you my food too. So here we are, here's the winning combination. It's a nice down home meatloaf there with broccoli. And this is something brand new. These are like loaded tater tots with like Colby cheese in them. And of course, they always give you like the famous cornbread and biscuits. Carrie's digging in there with meatloaf and ham. And she's got, uh, looks like steak fries and macaroni and cheese. So this is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna eat this. And then I promise we're gonna walk around the country store and show you all the stuff in the country store. Oh, and uh, of course there's my Coca-Cola. So there we go. That was really good. And I wanna tell you, talking about that business model like I was telling you about before, they're the only place that I know of where when you leave, they give you the receipt for the check for the restaurant and you actually have to come out to the gift shop and pay. So I'll show you that right over here. 
So I think business students or whoever, stores could take a lesson from this because you come out from the restaurant here and you come right over here and you pay right in this place. And I'm gonna show you now uh, all these wonderful things that you have here. We'll take a little walk around the gift shop. And what's nice is like I was telling you, I love coming here, especially at Christmas time. And we'll show you some of the things, a little tribute to Matt there, keyboard. But you find a lot of old fashioned stuff here, as you can see in the Mallow Cups and the Twizzlers. Look at this, the size of this lollipop here. Holy cow, huge. And we got a Husky there, or Balto, for us Disney fans. And as you know, it's Christmas time. You got Santa Claus going up on the crane. That'd be a good thing for New York City and for Brooklyn. All the cranes we got going on in New York City, right? I think half the cranes in America are probably in uh, Brooklyn. Look at that. Got Santa in a sleigh going around there. And you got some vinyl records there. Whoa, and look what's jumping out. Queen, one of Matt's favorite bands. I mean, the only band that Matt didn't like was, or was Scorpions. And I uh, never found out why he didn't like that group. Little Guardians of the Galaxy, again, sticking to that Disney theme. Look at this. Got a lot of owls here, which is nice. And uh, you have to like your country music. Got some stuff for veterans in here, of course. If you don't like country music, then this isn't the place for you to come because it's heavy country music, but I love country music. So uh, it's all good. But uh, even though it's Florida, you got a lot of winter gear in here. And I imagine, you know, being not too far from Siesta Key, you, um, you have a lot of snowbirds and people just want to buy some cool stuff. Look at this, all kinds of earmuffs too. You know, walking around here, you know, I just did a video on Jermaine's and for those who, those who grew up like me in Park Slope, this harkens back to all the old toy stores like Zeppies and Platts. Both of those were on Fifth Avenue. Um, Al's Toyland, which was on 7th Avenue, but all these amazing little toys that were just so much fun that you don't really see much of anymore. I mean, they have that catalog that comes to the house. What's it, Oriental Trading or one of those, but we're, you know, you don't want to buy a hundred of something. Look at this, how nice this is. Uh, dinosaurs, just all kinds of loose stuff. Grabbers. There's the Mandalorian again. All kinds of amazing stuff in here, but what I love, and I'm gonna show you, now look at this. This is something that you don't see anywhere anymore. You know, like pirate guns and stuff like this. You just don't see that in regular toys. So wow, like a Stretch Arm, is that Stretch Armstrong? Stretch Armstrong, holy cow. I think I'm dating myself there, but he's hanging out with Mr. Incredible. I guess these muscle guys like to hang out together. And what's really nice too, is you have all your candy selections here. Your gummy worms and your thin sticks, look at this all kinds of flavors and these a lot of these things are things we grew up on mary jane's holy cow mint patties airheads wow gummy worms look at all this stuff vanilla caramels Ooh. mike and ike i mean some of these things I haven't seen for years cherry slices if you guys aren't getting hungry already man and look at these big versions of all the look at that chunky Big chunky bar, fudge, almost everything you want. Recent and a pecan log to celebrate the holidays. If you guys enjoyed that video, um, I'm gonna actually go over there. I haven't drank sarsaparilla soda in like forever. So they have these uh, sarsaparilla sodas in the bucket of ice in a Coca-Cola barrel. So it can't be better than that. So I'll show you that and then I'll, I'll close the video when I go outside. So there's the barrel for all the ice cold sodas and I got a nice sass. I gotta show you guys this. I used to drink this in DNR Deli, which is on Prospect Avenue between, on, on 10th Avenue and Prospect. Um, haven't drank this in forever, maybe 30 years. So I'm gonna give this a shot and let you know how I like it. All right, so this sarsaparilla is really, really good. I mean, you guys know it takes a lot to pull me away from Coca-Cola, but you know what? They ain't gonna pull me away, but haven't had this thing for 30 years, so had to drink it really really good same logo and everything so love you guys out there i really appreciate you guys watching please subscribe i really appreciate it happy holidays to everybody i'll see you in the next video and um next time you buy a cracker barrel give it a try i think you're gonna like it all right love you guys and i'll see you real soon take care now bye bye